Their video have two purposes. First thing that I want to show you that how Blender every tool is so powerful and it can do a lot more than we think. Second, it's a challenge video that I have to create a whole car model with just one tool. Now it be not using any other tool. It's going to be so fun. And now let's get started. Okay, so let's first talk about the basics of this tool. So if we go to the edit mode and select any of the face and then press E, we actually enable the extrude tool. So it actually allows us to uh, extend our mesh in a direction that we want. Okay, so that's pretty simple. It has some more function. If we press Alt E, we will get some more options like this. So for example, I want to extrude these trees, but Alt individually, what I have to do is to select all these trees and then press Alt E and then click on extrude individual faces and now if I just extrude that as you can see every face is now a and press alt e and extrude along faces and now I can actually scale this individually like this if I have this option enabled So this is the basics function of this tool and now let me show you with an example that how this works. So we will first go for a simple glass model that we have. So as you can see I have this reference I will put a link in the description so if you want to follow you can follow that. So I would shift a and add a circle and just align this one like here and now E to extrude and Z in the Z direction, E again, and now scale this, and E again, scale. I will make the reference a bit according to this. And now E again, and E, scale, scale. So as you can see, I'm just extruding and scaling this one and it's already working really great okay so there are a few things that we have to learn is that for example for this challenge that i am not using any other tool is just the extrude tool so as you can see here we get some gap like this it's not aligned with the reference and we are not able to add a loop here because this is a challenge to just do it by extrude tool so what we have to do is to press e to extrude this one and now scale this one with z and as you can see we get extended this one so now I am able to actually scale this one according and I can match it further so whenever I would need a new loop I would do is extrude and then scale this one at Z and then actually pick this one and extrude that E to extrude scale this one and scale this one out Okay, so I think that was it for the basic function. Now let's start the challenge with the, which is modeling a car with just extrude tool. So I would delete these all and I would enable my reference for the car. So I would put a link in the description. It's a simple reference that I downloaded from Google. You can use any reference that you like. So we will start from a cube, of course. And let's quickly move it up here and try to match it with the reference. Okay, so by the way, I have enabled this key thing. So if you want to see any key that I press, you can just click it from here. As you can see, every key is showing. So if you want to follow along, you can just do that. Okay, so I did it from side. And as you can see, I duplicated my reference to both here. And now I would just move it up here, go to the edit mode and put this one here. Now select these two E to extrude and pick up this one and move it up here. Okay. And now let's move it up here. Okay. So the thing is that we can actually model it from one side to another like a gradient. So. I would put this one here and now extrude 
make sure to extrude it in the y direction so we don't get destructed like this okay this place here we actually uh, don't really need it because we would add a subdivision add modifier at the end and this will like blend it automatically so we don't actually need that and also it's a low pulley car so we can keep it some distance like this I can extrude it here and I can just extrude this one down and extrude it one more time yep now I can just do one two and here again I would need to align this one so I'm just extruding this one at this direction grab it up here extrude it one more time and it's pretty actually simple and easy uh, just at some points you need some more adjustment but yeah as you can see how powerful this tool is that you can actually do a whole model with this one so let's just now enjoy the result okay now I would select the whole thing here and just E to extrude and then Y to just scale it but make sure you are here at the median point so it don't distract like this and something like this okay for uh, from the front view I would need some adjustment so I would just scale this one and then this one I'm just deselecting that and then scaling it again something like this that was really quick now I would need the glasses but before that I want to actually mirror this one so what I have to do is to select these faces and actually scale this one with the X direction at 0 and just move it up here so as you can see I'm not adding even a loop because that would actually affect my challenge so if you see anything that is that I missed actually so you can just tell me in comments that I did this and it was out of the challenge so you can just tell me that in comments if you ever see me like using any other tool okay so again I would simply need to add glasses so for that I would first extrude this one and now scale this one and now extrude it inside and as you can see this is pretty cool okay so now these tools but I have to do it like individually so alt e and extrude it individual faces and now scaling this one as you can see it sometimes get this kind of problem so what I can do is that I can actually do it separately so I would extrude this one and then extrude this one then select these both and come up here and make this one individual and as you can see this is I think pretty pretty cool okay just select this one grab it up here grab it up Y and now let's extrude it inside Okay, from the side view it's actually glass up to here so these all E to extrude S to scale and then again E to extrude it inside okay so let's quickly now work with the glass here the mirror camera and let's first add a cube make sure to turn off the clipping and scale this one
and extrude this one extrude this one extrude and now scale it okay i can also extrude this one and scale and then extrude and now i can just rotate this one and move it up here inside okay so now let's quickly do the tires So I would put a cylinder here and just something like this and let's just quickly scale this one. Get inside. Now I can extrude scale. And extrude it one more time, scale this one and just move it up here. I would need a mirror of this one. So on the top view, let's break it here. and add a mirror modifier to the Y okay and apply this one and let's now quickly just mirror this one with the X and Y like this and I think this was pretty quick. Let's just quickly add some colors that we want. So I would need a base color for the body. And that would be a red color from this one. Okay, another color for gloss, which would be something like this. And we would just quickly assign this one. Pick up the tires, add a new. Okay. I think that was a pretty good experiment that we just model a whole car with just X2. So hope you learn a lot from this video and hope it gives you an inspiration that every blender tool can be used for a lot of stuff and it can be used like this way so it was a challenge for fun and also to teach you that how powerful this tool is so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video for now bye